Hey pond lovers, John G, Modern Design Aquascaping. I am so excited today to be talking to you because this is the first video in my ecosystem pond series. I've been dealing with ponds for a quarter of a century and I always get the same questions. This video is the beginning of the answers. If you're interested in an ecosystem pond, if you've just gotten an ecosystem pond, if you've inherited one, whatever the case might be, this is the basics. If you want to learn step by step about an ecosystem pond and how it works, this is the exact right series for you guys. Stay tuned and let me tell you what's up. All right, my people, so I want to get this just off my chest right off the bat. You're going to hear me doing a lot of talking about Aquascape products and I need you to understand I do not work for Aquascapes. I am not getting paid by Aquascapes. I use their products for several reasons. I think they're the best tested. I think they're the most rugged. I have gotten all of my training and education opportunities through Aquascapes. I am loyal to them. I do not expect you to use Aquascapes. You do what's right for you. I do what's right for me. Now that we've covered that, let's move on. So let's start right off and talk about what an ecosystem pond is. Guys, it's an extension of your landscape. It is a seamless blending of nature into your outdoor living space. It is the sight, it is the sound, it is the emotion that you can only get from moving water in your landscape. But what it is, most importantly, is it is a place to connect with your people and with the outdoors. It's a place for you to relax and unwind. It's a place for you to spend time with the ones you love. So there aren't really a lot of components to an ecosystem pond and this video again is like the cliff notes so I'm not going into each one of them in depth but I want to tell you what the series is going to be covering so there are several types of filtration going on inside your pond that's what keeps your water alive and healthy we're going to talk about all of them in future videos we're going to talk about biological filtration we're going to talk about mechanical filtration and we're going to talk about plant filtration also known as phytoremediation in later videos, we're going to discuss pumps and plumbing. We're going to talk about fish. We're going to talk about plants. We're going to talk about maintenance and care of your system after it's installed. All of these things are the pieces of a working ecosystem pond, and we're going to do a video on each and every one so that you can understand the entire system and how all these parts work together to form a successful ecosystem. At the end, we'll get into the construction process and the basics of how we do what we do and why we do what we do. There's just such a rabbit hole that we can go down. I'm gonna take you from the beginning to the end. Along the way, you guys give me feedback through these videos and let me know what is it that I'm missing? What questions do you have that I haven't answered yet? I wanna share with you. I want you to share with me as we go. I want it to be a great experience, guys. So I'm gonna end on that. That's all of it. I want you guys to stay tuned. This is gonna be a great journey. I'm gonna share a ton of awesome information with you. Let me know what you're thinking. Do me a favor, as always, like, comment, subscribe to our channel. I appreciate you guys following us and I can't wait to continue cranking out the videos in the Ecosystem Pond Series. Have a great one, guys.